सो प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू ऑन बेल्ट फ्रिक्शन एंड के वी गो फॉर द अरेंजमेंट एज शोन बिलो वंडरफुल कैलकुलेट दी फोर स्पी नीडेड फोर स्पी नीडेड टू होल्ड दी फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन वेट एंड बाई दी वे दिस इज दी फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन वेट हाउ डू वी एड्रेस सच प्रॉब्लम इन दी प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल वी हैड टू लिफ्ट अ ब्लॉक दैट वॉज अ डिफरेंट सिनारियो ओके फोर्स नीडेड टू लिफ्ट अ ब्लॉक इन दी अपर डायरेक्शन जस्ट स्टार्ट लिफ्टिंग हेयर इट इज डिफरेंट वी नीड टू होल्ड दिस फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन वेट एंड फॉर दैट वॉट इज दिस फोर्स पी now before getting into the mechanics let me address some of the geometry first of all let me mark uh, these two centers of the drum as a and b that is the first thing okay this by the way is the angle of lap right the contact of the belt starts here and it ends at b so beta 1 and that's beta 2 and since both the cylinders are having the same dimensions when i say dimension i mean the radius so uh, beta 1 beta 2 alpha 1 and alpha 2 for both of them are going to be exactly same that's the first thing if you watch carefully this over here is the 90 degree angle so the side opposite to alpha 1 will qualify as the perpendicular this is going to be the base and this is going to be the hypotenuse if i were to calculate alpha 1 what i'll do is cos alpha 1 is equal to base over hypo when i say base base is equal to the radius that is 0.8 by hypotenuse this is ac And that's one meter. If you saw the transition, this two meter clearly divides into one one meter each. Okay, it divides equally. The reason being very simple because the two cylinders are or the drums are having equal radius. And right, and there is this rope or cord or belt which has been wound over it in this fashion. Let us apply base point eight hypotenuse. That is one. Do the inverse. This is what you get thirty six point eight seven. now sir we know this value 36.87 sir how much is beta 1 going to be it is going to be equal to 180 minus alpha 1 in the same fashion beta 2 is going to be 180 minus alpha 2 let me zoom in so that you guys can have a clearer picture that's beta 1 for 2 180 minus alpha 1 is going to give you beta 1 in the same way you have beta 2 let me update the figure okay and just on doing the math this is what you get okay sir now where to start let's start the mechanics you should start by creating the free body diagram of this much portion of the belt over here which is wound over drum b the reason being very simple you know this value you can calculate this once you know this you know this and once you know this you can get this right so start by creating the free body diagram of the rope uh, with drum b right and this is the impending motion the reason being very simple let me tell you uh, if you watch it's mentioned very clearly that we need to hold the 500 newton weight if i were to if i am to hold the 500 newton weight what i need to do is i need to keep it on this level always neither down neither up so i have to apply some force over here the natural tendency of this 500 newton block will be in the downward direction then the rope will have a tendency to move in the clockwise sense this way and over here in the anti clockwise sense and always remember please note this note this in your copies arrow head means the tighter side and arrow tail means the slack side please note this over here arrow head means the tight side and this arrow tail means the slack side and we always remember that it is the tension of the tighter side to the slacker side which eventually is equal to e power mu times of beta and this is the formula that we've derived in the previous sessions okay shall we begin one more thing that i need to tell you is that let's say if instead of writing hold we just say p needed to lift let's say just lift 500 newton weight in that scenario this would have been the impending motion this would have been the impending motion this would have been the impending motion and please let me know what is the answer please write them down in the comments okay it will be a larger value let me tell you very very frankly anyways going ahead with the problem what to do sir let's start with the free body over here this is the tighter side sir this is the slacker side arrow head tighter side arrow tail slacker side done 500 by t1 is equal to e power mu that is 0.3 into beta beta is 143.13 
you need to always do the conversion in radian so into pi over 180 very simple yes sir very simple done do the math this is what you get okay let me update the figure t1 is 236.32 let me update it in the main figure if this is 236.82 this also has got to be 236.82 and now we are going to take a look at the free body diagram uh, somewhere here okay this much portion of the rope which is in contact with drum a so one value is known that is 236.32 this p has to now to be calculated remember arrowhead means tight side arrow tail means slack side so 236.32 divided by p is equal to e power mu beta mu is known to us sir it is 0.4 now it is different and this beta has to be converted into radian same stuff you just do the math this is what you get 87 newton so so damn easy what i want all of you guys to do is instead of doing this case as whole you guys can work out to just lift lift what just lift this 500 newton block please do a case for this one and i'm sure your answer will be around 2500 2600 uh, approximately okay please let me let me know what the correct answer is and uh, that was all from my side for today okay see you in the next video thank you very very much